When we first came here, we knew we wanted to do something special with the land. 25 years ago, it was a fairly barren farm with very few plantings, and you could see forever from one end of the property to the other. It was that open and barren. So that's when we started looking at it and saying, well, what can we do? And how can we develop different habitat areas? So we started. And the first two years, we put a bunch of trees in. And a total of how many thousands? About uh, 12,000. 10, 12, trees. Conifers. Yes. Yeah. You two planted? The two of yeah. us, yes. Uh -huh. We schlucked a lot of trees. <laughs> And then a year or two after that, we started designing and putting in ponds. And here we are 25 years later, and all of that is the way we envisioned it. We want a place where wildlife can flourish and wildlife can call sanctuary. We have everything from uh, thick pines that we planted uh, thickly on purpose to develop owl habitat over time, regenerating fields. Each one of the ponds has different gradations of depth and, and plant life in it, and that contributes to not only birds, but all, all the wildlife. It gives a great, great diversity. As the number of cows grow, the number of acres required just to put down manure grows. To do that and to do it efficiently, they have wiped out all of the hedgerows. So you get these big, huge monocropped fields, which aren't good for anything. We have lost, we extirpated any number of species, both hedgerow species and especially field nesting species. Farms throughout the Northeast are going to this type of farming. And we're talking a very big and significant population problem for both birds and, and other forms of wildlife. Another reason why we're glad we this is protected. Just, it's a great feeling. I feel like we've really done something positive. And perhaps the most positive is knowing that it'll always be that way.